Guyana is in the process of implementing the Guyana Timber Legality Assurance System, or GTLAS. The country is working to strengthen internal controls and meet its international obligations and duties to access the European Union and other global markets. GTLAS implementation efforts present the ideal opportunity to reflect on the legal requirements for forest sector operations and the challenges and benefits of meeting those requirements. Over 100 stakeholders from Guyana's four forest districts discuss the costs, benefits, and barriers in implementing GTLAS between October and November 2021. And the health and the safety. If we have to give them boots, safety boots, and then we've got to build up the helmets. That's a one-time expense. It doesn't, we don't have to give that each month. And we can work it out with them. You pay half of it, or you pay like a quarter of it, and we're going to give you the others. Employees are more or less willing to accept a compromise, where we will supply two-thirds of the cost, and they will take a one-third cost. So we can't see that the cost involved exceeding 2% of revenue. We look at lack of resources in the community if there is no longer a low and resources, how can we have a cost to that, right? For example, if the human, because if there is no question for farming or working in the village, we have a capital income. We also look at ways in acquiring compliance. It will, we are asking that for the reservation of us, if we call it a private land, if it could be reduced because on a monthly basis you don't have a regular income due to the lack of resources. Example, maybe like for the whole month you might just have income of 10,000, and that is a very small amount of money. Of course, for time, because we know everything will take time, and time is money. So we just add time also, and we need also human resources is also part of the cost for us to acquire compliance. compliance. You will get $300,000 for a loan. Mm -hmm. If the lumber yard deal decides to give you every piece of measurement based upon it. So when we do check up the cost of it, it runs like $263,000 to get this wood from here cut to the lumber yard. Leaving you with $7,000. And it's very hard to understand that you have done so many work and you have to survive on $27,000. I have some short term and some long term from the NIS. Um, for the short term, it's like, okay, if you have your, your um, paying your compliance on a quarterly basis regular, you can get what is um, a voucher for your eyeglasses, your dentures. Um, if you get sick, you can get some reimbursement of your bills and so on. In the future, as we now want to we will have sickness benefit, survival benefit, access to public service from payment of tax. Let's see, comprise we have the GRA, we have the NAS, or we got all the entities on our side. The benefits we're gonna have, we're gonna get freedom to work or can work legally. Nobody can stop me because we could now have all the documents to start working. Yeah, that's our benefit we're gonna get. We got freedom of movements. Now, example, we have work. We're gonna work free and then we're gonna get market because we're gonna, what we have learned here today, if we got all these documents, we would now have an opportunity to shift our lumber overseas and in different markets. Gear your workers to learn to use the gear and practice their safety. We believe that we will have more man labor. Sometimes we work seasonal, that's a barrier. 
one, then two, lack of knowledge, and three, reluctancy by workers to be compliant. They don't want, some of them don't want to pay their taxes. By barriers, we don't have lack of knowledge, maybe because we don't know all about this before. That is why now we have this, these barriers. Lack of access to information and due to the internet connection, we are way back because we can go online to look at what's available, maybe they are providing for us. Road condition, like some of the barriers is that we don't have the machine to do the roads. If we, if we do have the machine to do the roads, we, our tractor will not last a lengthy time. But the road, let me tell you. Hmm. <laughs> a working paper was created based on these stakeholder engagements. The Guyana Forestry Commission and its partners will continue to build the capacity of the private sector to improve business practices, increase market access, and highlight Guyana's implementation efforts.